Hi, I'm Ned Bartlett, assistant attending at Memorial Sloan Kettering. And I'm Yunin Hu, former fellow at MSK, soon to join the University of Maryland. We're very pleased to summarize our recent study published in JAX entitled Cost-Benefit Implications of Gene Expression Profiling and Adjuvant Therapy in Stage 3A Melanoma. Recently, gene expression profiling has been proposed to help risk stratify patients and identify those most likely to recur. Theoretically, giving adjuvant therapy to patients found to be high risk by gene expression profiling could maximize the effect of treatment while reducing the number of patients treated unnecessarily. The goal of this project was to use previously published data regarding the performance of gene expression profiling and incorporate it into a decision analysis model that simulates the probable outcomes of patients with stage 3A melanoma. We built a Markov decision analysis model that simulated three treatment strategies for stage 3A melanoma. No adjuvant treatment, universal adjuvant treatment for everyone, and selective adjuvant treatment for patients considered high risk based on gene expression profiling. The model simulated 10-year disease-specific survival and incorporated costs of diagnostic testing, treatment, and surveillance. Holding the no adjuvant strategy as the reference, the strategy of universal adjuvant therapy was estimated to reduce 10-year melanoma-specific mortality by approximately 8% at a cost of 2.4 million U.S. dollars per mortality avoided. This translates to nearly 700,000 U.S. dollars per additional life year. On the other hand, a strategy of selective adjuvant therapy guided by gene expression profiling is projected to reduce melanoma-specific mortality by about 5% at a cost of 2.1 million U.S. dollars per mortality avoided, or roughly $580,000 per additional life year. It's important to note that because there are no accurate measures of patient-reported utilities in advanced melanoma health states, we are not able to estimate the true cost per quality adjusted life year for each of these three strategies. So this study provides estimates of costs and outcomes that may help guide a discussion of adjuvant versus salvage therapy for patients with stage 3A melanoma. In our model, the cost of treating all patients with adjuvant therapy is quite high, at over $2 million per mortality avoided. This high costs reflect the fact that many patients do well without adjuvant therapy, and so the use of adjuvant therapy in stage 3A melanoma over-treats many patients. Using adjuvant therapy only in patients found to be high risk by gene expression profiling slightly reduces the rate of unnecessary treatment, but also at the cost of undertreating a number of patients who ultimately recur. Thus, the net effect is small, and even this selective adjuvant strategy remains very costly. This mathematical modeling approach to decision making is powerful because it provides tangible estimates for complex questions that would otherwise be very difficult to answer with prospective clinical trials. However, to make these models reliable and impactful, we need to focus research upon defining patient-reported valuations for health states and melanoma and other cancers.